Hello everybody and welcome to this mod talk and configuration video. I will show you my configuration, my modes, how I configure them and explain you my way of thinking about that for this playthrough. First I'm in the settings, general settings, I will play master difficulty. I won't be using any floating markers, any save uh, of the base game because I use mod for that. So that's for the gameplay setting. For the display, everything I, I just put the brightness a, a little up for YouTube for YouTube rendering. To make it easier, I disable the crosshair so we can have a complete immersion. I enable dialogue subtitles and general subtitles for the people who don't understand very well the speaking English and want to read it during the dialogue and cutscene. Maybe because sometime I will be talking, expressing the thoughts of my character uh, during a dialogue and you will want to read it to understand the, the full story. Uh, for the audio, I just make some arrangements in order to have a right balance between my voice and the game sound. I hope it will be possible. The first video wasn't very good for it. Mod configuration. That is the important part. First mod I will be talking about is Achieve That. Achieve That is a really simple and really enjoyable mod that helps you keep track of everything you put on better than the general statistic of the game and give you small rewards very small rewards uh, every bit give you five uh, glory points and you can see the bonuses that are here are quite expensive and not so much powerful. The only sitting here is uh, removing the notification so that it doesn't go in the way of everything. Autosave manager. I want as much autosave as possible. It will sometimes stutter. I'm sorry for that. But it's uh, to help me avoiding recording and re-recording and re-recording every time I die and I don't want to, to show you a video of me dying over and over so I want as much autosave as possible but a vampire I won't configure it just now I, I'll wait to become a vampire if I become a vampire complete crafting is quite well configured by default there is not so much uh, you you might want to auto upgrade the unique item it's really pleasant um, you might want to chop wood faster when you make a video so I will do that and for immersion sake I will rename these components to the more usual usual Tolkien friendly name uh, I won't I, I have bandolias bags and pouches so I will take that option and that's all for complete crafting for extended UI I just will make everything enable 
Immersive creature, I may tweak it a little. Difficulty adjustment, that's right. I want master adjustment, I want odd adjustment, I want odd adjustment. That's great. That's all for this mod. Immersive HUD. I want the HUD to be the less visible as possible. So that was strange. I will deactivate all the option. I will force crosshair to hide. I will fast fade the bar and I will put all transparencies to zero so that I don't have any bar on my screen. I'll just have to imagine where am I on my health and stamina by the sound my character makes and Percus Maximus does it very well. Jackson Smart Looter is quite enjoyable but for this playthrough I don't want it to do much thing. I, I want to do most thing manually. I mainly want it to mine automatically so I don't have to lose time mining my miner mining veins. It's not enjoyable to watch. I will loot Alchemical Gundred. Oh yes. I uh, I also picked pick pen pick plants and catch critters because it's really boring to watch and it's more enjoyable to be able to make potions and everything. I will catch automatically alchemy ingredients. I won't catch automatically enchanted items. I want to see what I catch. And red book, yes. Soul gem, yes. Coral, yes. And that's all. I will crank up that. Put that to the maximum. Okay. And that's done. I will suppress looting notification and don't show it up in containers because I don't let him open automatically. Legacy of the Dragonborn has no settings, so that's easy. General settings for locational damage. It's a really interesting mod, difficulty mod. I will put immersive messages, obviously. I will support any of these modules. I will allow instant kill, I will make headshot instant kill, instant kill, and I won't exclude player or include neck. That's, that's good enough. Okay, and the readme file really insist on keeping this value to 50% so I will listen to him and don't touch them. Predator vision I'll just change the key remove the sound and that's all. I think elf should have night vision so I will give me night vision it will be more enjoyable and uh, sky UI I will take a small font size I want this I really like Celtic I don't have anything to change that ok Thunder Child Shots gives HP for shots I like that I'm afraid it does double effect with Percus Maximus, but it's not bad, it's a really little amount of XP. It's pretty much invisible. 
wet and cold. That's important. I want steam. I want steam on everybody. I don't want umbrellas. I, I don't think it it works with the law of Skyrim. It's horrible. Rain gear, no Argonian. Yeah, they don't need rain gear. And worker will ignore. Also, um, below only, yes. The default settings are quite good. I will keep just enhance immersion. I don't know why I quit. Update and interval I will make to 8. The text says 8. I will put it detection, shelter detection, wind interval. I don't have any mode that makes all of Skyrim winter, so I won't take it. Okay, that's great. And winter mist enchants have no configuration change. That's all for my mod configuration. Sorry for this boring video, you can skip it, it's not mandatory, obviously, but it's quite useful to know if you want to know how I configure my game. See you soon, goodbye.